Stuttgart 20th of January 2018 CMT Trade Fair. It's now 1940. There's still people here despite the doors having closed the trade fair at 1800 and uh, they may be reveling because uh, the sales they made today but uh, I'm reveling so I can see these vehicles still. Okay let's have a look at this one here and what stands out immediately here is this enormous enormous garage I mean you could actually forget the rest of the van and come live in here and double floor you've got all that space down there amazing really and if you don't want to keep your bikes there you've got four bikes or carrier bike carrier for four bikes there now pretty impressive all that in my opinion this van will cost over 82 or 80,000 well, over 82,000 it's um, 7 or 6 centimeters long 232 233 wide it's got a height of 319 at its highest point that van is shorter than mine and it's got all that space at the back and that is thanks to the height it'll be also be a lot warmer than mine because of that amazing double floor and let's have a look inside it's got a 10 year uh, uh, water uh, ingress guarantee oh I'll point this out actually it is a useful feature it's got um, a window in the door I like that uh, you know sometimes actually it's helpful uh, even when you're driving it's, it may cover a bit of a blind spot it may do don't know I haven't driven this maybe it doesn't I'm just sort of half guessing there but I have to find out if I were driving the thing right I like this layout as far as the back is concerned because we've got this double bed it's an unconventional shape it means you've got it might be a bit difficult finding a cover for it but uh, or learning how to actually tuck your sheets in then again I still haven't learned how to do that in a camper van myself and I've been living in them for seven years right you've got lockers all the way around very elegant looking and you've got a skylight above step up to the bed on the left hand side we find the wet room with a plastic thing around the shower to keep that dry. There's even a duck board on the ne uh, next to the toilet although it's not actually needed. On the left, look at that amount of space there. A wardrobe, we've got storage below and below that we've got the boiler. Fat fridge, oven, okay sitting in here we have got a, a huge amount of space here for preparing food. Look at all of that. And here we've got Dometic sink. Don't think the pan comes with it. And the burner hub. You've got all this space for preparation. I think that's great. And uh, here uh, elegant drawers, slidey out thing there for keeping your uh, bottles in and what have you. You've got there. and you've got a space up here. Ladder up the top. Huge amount of space, there'll be plenty of air circulating around. Wonderful skylight to look out of at night. You've got a clear sky and you can see the stars and uh, I think that's fantastic really. Uh, the windows at either side and plenty of space around the table. The table seems a little bit in the low side, well maybe it isn't. Can't go any higher though, because I can see I've got exactly the same thing as mine. Um, although, if I, actually, with my table, I actually fixed it to the height I wanted it, so it's sort of made made to measure, so to speak. We're higher. We can't really see what's going on because we've got another van parked right next to it. But uh, you can imagine the, it being uh, by the sea, by a lake, by whatever, and 
the views that this would offer. Oh, this is oh, quite comfortable in this right now, actually. See the extractor fan above the uh, the cooking area. I had one, never seemed to work, and uh, we tested it. And we said, well, well, theoretically it's working. I don't know if they're needed or not needed. So what do you think, like this? We've got up there, that um, is a skylight. They've obviously put these lights in just for the trade fair. Same there. I, as a, I don't rate personally the uh, the overcab versions, uh, although I can see the benefit uh, with something like this. They do consume more fuel. I remember before I even started getting involved in motorhomes, uh, some Italians told me that uh, you're looking at 15 to 20 percent more fuel consumption with these fans compared to the. Um, the semi-integrated or integrated ones. They're not aerodynamic. But, you know, this is somewhat practical, I would say. Okay, so, I'll make my way out. I'm hoping to go to the factory. Euromobil in Sprenlingen, Germany, next week. Although I'm not certain we actually see any vehicles when I'm there. But uh, maybe, maybe it will be possible. Anyway, we'll find out.